Hey developers, so what do you guys prefer, Spring Boot or Phoenix? Let's talk about it. So hey everybody, I haven't. It's been a while since I have talked to you guys. I think the last video I did was on Vue.js testing. I actually have a few more of those Vue testing videos. I just haven't uploaded them. So there's a lot more to Vue testing. So I think I'll, I'll probably do that a little bit later. But today I wanted to kind of ask you guys a question, give you guys a little update. I have been super busy. I have been working on writing this book. I've also been working on um, some stuff from work and I just haven't had a ton of time. But one thing I really want to do is I want to get into doing some back end tutorials. Now I I think I'm definitely going to be doing some more stuff on Nuxt as well. I've had some really positive feedback on Nuxt, the Nuxt uh, tutorials I've done. I want to look at some of Nuxt auth. I want to do some Vue.js auth stuff. So those things are, are still in the works, but really what I want to do, just kind of change things up and kind of the stuff I'm kind of doing at work is to do Spring Boot tutorials. But I kind of have a conundrum because I love Spring Boot. It's so easy to get started. It has annotations. We can easily connect it up to Vue.js or Ember.js or you know, a lot of different front end frameworks we can kind of pop right in and have them talk to and create a RESTful service using Spring. And I, I want to deep dive into that, but I know I, I did some videos last year on Phoenix frameworks, kind of based off Elixir. And I just want to see what you guys are interested in. Do you think that the Phoenix framework has more potential or is it more about Spring Boot? I, I think both. Definitely a Phoenix, I still feel, is it's still more of a niche. It's one of those. It's one of those frameworks that you see kind of coming up on up and coming you know everybody in the ruby world wants you know the next ruby on rails and people are looking at phoenix because of the functional language parts of it they're looking at just how easy it is to maintain and and scale and and a lot of people are looking at phoenix it's been that way for i would say for a couple of years now and I, I don't think it's hit its stride yet i don't know it's definitely, you know, Ruby on Rails is still big, but it's especially in the enterprise world, Spring Boot, on the other hand, and especially the Spring Framework in general, has been really, really popular. So if you're doing a Java development, this is one thing that a lot of employers are looking for. They're, they're walking for you to know Spring and looking for people that have good knowledge on Spring Boot. And, and I love to kind of teach that and show you guys all about it. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just kind of in between these two these two frameworks here and uh, I'm kind of leaning towards doing some spring stuff I'm kind of showing you some basic tutorials like you know spring boot is really easy even if you if you're not interested in Java it's really easy to get started they have annotations for everything there's all this stuff happening in the background that kind of just puts everything and stitches it all together for you you can create a restful API you can have a jar file basically run this jar it has your built-in application server in it and you can basically create a whole restful service in just a few minutes of course it's not going to do much but it kind of gives you an idea of the power of it is to start it up i mean you could kind of say that same thing with phoenix i did a few tutorials just having kind of a restful service in there and and i really like the mindset of functional programming there is something called kotlin on the on the java side which you can kind of kind of do that more functional programming style if that's what you like i haven't taken the full functional I don't know uh, pill yet so I'm still not in in that in that environment yet so I'm just gonna write you know plain JavaScript or Java excuse me not to get confused with JavaScript so that's kind of the approach I'm taking so but I definitely want to jump into more back-end stuff instead of just uh, you know the just the JavaScript so I'd love to hear you guys opinions what do you guys think between Spring Boot and Phoenix or do you think like Ruby on Rails I mean there's so many tutorials in Ruby out there Ruby on Rails. I mean, is that, uh, would you guys prefer to see that? So let me know, put a comment below and, uh, yeah, let me know. And by the way, so I have finished pretty much finished the rough draft of my Vue.js in action book. If you guys are interested, you can click on the link in the description below and you can get the first chapter for free. And so the the book has gone well i still have to write a little bit more um, i'm cleaning up some sections i'm doing a lot of polish on it trying to fix some examples i'm adding some more stuff on view routing um, view router actually i just kind of touched on it in the book but i didn't really write much about it and i think i need to write a little bit more about it but things are really coming together that book is is really close to being done 
And what that means is you, you could probably buy it. And you can buy it today, of course, but you'll have the completed book. I'm hoping very soon, maybe in a couple months, it'll be completely done. So I'm really excited about that. So I want to give you guys the update that, on that. And then hopefully, you know, I'll start being able to get in a good rhythm here on this channel. I've only been able to do uh, one or two videos a week for a while. And I really want to get back to, to three a week, maybe even four or five if things go really well. And I got everything uh, in, lined up, but it just really takes me to finish the book and a few other projects. And then I, I could start doing more videos for you guys. And I really want to start doing more tutorials, a uh, little bit less advice, but of course, every now and then I'll have some fun videos and advice and, and top, lit, 10 to, top 10 list, top 10 tips, because I think those are really digestible. People love to hear just like, this is what you should do. And I want to keep doing that. And I'll probably do some collabs too with some other YouTubers, which I'm hopefully will come through. So that's all I got to say right now. But yeah, leave a comment below. What do you guys like better? Spring, Phoenix, let me know. And if you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button and click that little bell button. That really helps me. Take care.